So this is uh, an Amiga 4000. Um, I've just fitted the battery backup clock from Amiga Kit. Uh, prompt delivery as always. Also been doing a little bit, little bit of work on this sound circuit. Not sure you can see here for all the mess, but C403 and C405, as well as the caps in the general area and the two 22 UF caps have changed as well. But suffering from distorted sound slightly. Don't know why that would be, but. distortion has gone now. Uh, the two caps or the, the C what were they 403 and C405 the ceramic caps they were actually Commodore fitted caps I took those off and measured them and they were very low on um, capatans which I'm surprised by but they're 30 years old I suppose I suppose they're allowed to be um, what I'll do is I'll set the tripod up and I'll play a few games or intros anyway just to make sure the sound works properly um, through a few videos. I'm sure it will. It seems pretty good. Monkey Island is a good test. So is um, Defender of the Crown, Prince of Persia and a couple of others. Um, yeah, Monkey Island is, is quite good. I didn't realise how good it was for testing the sound to be honest. The, the range of the, the intro sound, it's pretty good for picking up any sound faults. Um, so anyway, I'll stop talking nonsense and uh, set the tripod up and I'll be back in a moment. So here we are back again, it's on the tripod. Uh, I haven't plugged in any of my capture card stuff to do a decent video, so I'll just run through the video camera. Everything's been packed away for Christmas and having a house full of guests, so Happy New Year to you all. Um, yeah, this um, particular board I've got here has developed a sound since it's been placed. Uh, developed a sound fault since it's been placed in storage. I haven't used this Amiga for a while, so I thought I'd try it up, uh, try it out, and have another go, see if it works okay. And it had a, a slight sound distortion. It was down on one channel uh, and distorted. Not noticeable on some of the things that I ran on it, but yeah, Monkey Island and a few others. This, actually, if I listened carefully, did, before, give a sound fault. The sound was um, quite thick and distorted, like um, like a speed grid blown on an old stereo system. I've got a little bit cold at the moment as well, which is nice, because I'm back at work tomorrow, so that's great. Um, so yeah, so I've changed the capacitors for new 22UF ceramic caps. I tend to use ceramic caps most of the time now. Um, purely because they they won't leak. Like I said, the battery has been changed from the old Varta to a um, what is it CRC two twenty thirty two or whatever it's. But it's an Amiga kit kit, um, which is basically a a little breakout board, a little PCB with three pins on it and a resistor, so the Amiga doesn't try charging the battery. Um, and that's it. All I've done is done the caps cleaned the area with a bit of um, isopropanol, turned it back on and away we go. So what is it, what I will do is now when I stop rabbiting and talking nonsense I'll um, go through a few games, crack the volume up just to make sure everything's tickety-boo. So anyway this is an Amiga 4000 3.1 ROM, uh, they will be WHD load games, uh, that's it really, it's just standard 4000, nothing terribly exciting. I have got another board, another motherboard to do, but I doubt I'll do it today. I, sh I will probably do, when I do do it, I will do the, um, is it a 32 megabyte or 64 megabyte gal hack on the board to give it 64 megabyte fast RAM in a standard Amiga motherboard. I haven't done it yet, there's a bit of rewiring, there's new gals involved. Uh, I've got a couple of gals to do it, um, but I haven't really looked into it yet. 
I'm also making some uh, CPU adapters and things for Amiga 2000 which I've half got around to doing but I haven't finished. I've also done uh, a vampire conversion to the Amiga 2000 which again I've started doing broke for Christmas, packed everything away and now I've had a quick look and I can't remember what box I've put them in but that's pretty standard for me to be honest I've got Amiga stuff everywhere but in the coming um, next 20 to 30 years I intend to finish a few of these projects before I have a heart attack and die oh, with a bit of luck anyway so anyway here we go some Amiga games with audio which uh, should be nice and clear make my TV buzz Right, sound. Agony. Agony has nice sound, so we'll have a, we'll have a little go at Agony.
friend of the crown. Come on, defender. Put that on my. Ah. Version three, the best version.
for some reason.
Well, I think that shows that the audio is working okay. What I'll do now, I will turn it off uh, and see if the clock is keeping time. I didn't notice what time it was, but um, it's now at 3 um, 21, 22. So I'll turn the Amiga off, turn it back on, and see what it comes up with. Hopefully, it's keeping the correct time. See what it says. Fifteen twenty-two. That's exactly correct. I'll turn it off now. I'll do that again. I'll press the right button. Well, that's nicely out of focus. That really matters. It's, um, I'm holding the tripod here so the angles are a little bit wrong on the camera. Uh, as I said, the um, the battery is from a Amiga kit. I should trim down the three legs before I sold it to the board or the legs will poke through and touch the um, the metal of the case. That's the uh, their standard pin lens. Oh, bugger. Their standard pin lens is a little bit long. So if you solder one, just uh, trim a little bit, a couple of a couple of three mil off the pins before you uh, solder it in. What time is it now? Fifteen twenty-three. Finally, Christmas went this slowly. Looks so like it says 1523. It does 1523. So that's okay, it seems to be working fine. I'll probably try it tomorrow. Leave it off all night. But anyway, that's what I've been doing on this afternoon. Monday afternoon, Bank Holiday Monday. Uh don't think I'll do anything else today. I'll probably watch a film or something. So anyway. That's it. Thank you for. Oh, I know what I will do. I'll do a little bit with the Commodore 64. So I'll be back shortly. Thank you very much.